Every year, there was something that me and those who were close to me liked to do to prove that we had what it took to be in charge. There was me, Beto Seppi. There was Tony Big Balls. There was Vinny Leo. And there was Silvio Margaretti. We met at an undisclosed location and we got ready for what we were about to undertake. Vinny, Tony, Silvio, how's your mother? Yeah, how's your mother? How's your mother? How's your mother? You all know why I brought you here today. I brought you here because you're my brothers. There's a tradition we like to do, which separates the whiny little bitch boys from the men. We like to call that little game Beat the Heat. Five rounds, five questions. Every round, get a question wrong. Put a little bit of chili in your pasta. If you get a question right, you gotta move on. Now, any questions? Are hey, you gonna make us drink water? Or milk? So bitch drink? Guys, guys, come on. Who do you think I am? You schmucks. No, no, no. Tonight, we're drinking the very finest brasserie from Aldi. Without any further ado, let the games begin. Well, hello and welcome to uh, Beat the, the heat. heat, the game where we <laughs> beat the heat. Basically, if you haven't guessed the rules by now, it's a quiz. Um, we started them off with mild um, chili powder, very reasonable, um, and we're going to build up the uh, chili sauces as they go on. Round one, geography. Which two European countries does the Simplon Tunnel connect? Austria, number two, France, number three, Germany, number four, Switzerland, number five, Italy. Austria and Italy. Um, Austria and Switzerland. Switzerland and Italy. Harry is correct. The other two, eat, eat more chili. Harry, you can if you want. But you <laughs> and then at the end of each round, we add more chili. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Question number two. Mm -hmm. What is the official nickname of the state of Texas? <laughs> I. Is it. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> number one, the bungalow state. Number two, the Lone Star state. Number three, the Derrick State, or number four, the New Texas. <laughs> Lone Star. Is it Lone Star? Is it Lone Star? <laughs> All correct. <laughs> wow. Eat chili. In which European city will you find the San Angelo Bridge? Uh, uh, Italy. That's not a city, mate. Oh, uh, Rome. Milan. Florence. Alex is correct. Oh, Drink or eat. Nice. Dr drink and eat. <laughs> Question number four. What is the smallest nation in Africa? Number one, the Congo. Number two, Liberia. Number three, the Gambia. Gambia. And I think Congo. Liberia. I'll go Liberia. Okay. Harry is correct. <laughs> what are the names of the four oceans of the world? Pacific, Atlantic, Atlantic Indian, Indian, Arctic. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Very good. Second round is politics. Are we all adding more spice? And we're adding more spice. Uh, okay. What did you say? What did you say? <laughs> it's quite a lot of chilies. <laughs> Take a big, big heaped mouthful. Okay. Stab a lot of chili. As much as you can. Yeah, yeah, like literally as much as you can. Keep going. <laughs> oh. I'm at the limit. It's not going to be a good evening. Question number one Which state was George W. Bush governor of before becoming president of the United States? Texas? I think it's Texas. Texas. <laughs> Bang on. Maybe <laughs> well, Gabe should have gone first. <laughs> Which former British Prime Minister graduated from Oxford University in 1947 with second class honours in chemistry? Margaret Thatcher. Oh, Margaret oh, Thatcher! Oh, all correct! Oh, Amazing. Do you think from now on maybe the first person to say the answer? Because otherwise we're just going to all win everyone. Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay. Right, first person to say the answer. you got to do... And First. How long does Prime Minister's questions last? For an hour. For Two hours. Hour. Harry is correct! You guys have to eat, I don't. Yeah. yeah. This is fucking easy, so I don't even know why it's here. What did Theresa May claim was the naughtiest thing she had done? 
Buzz, uh, run through a field of, was it hay? <laughs> run through a field of something. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Round number two, points as they stand. Harry with seven points Ooh. in the lead. And Ooh. then Gabe and Alex currently tied five points each. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a giant pepper. And I'll be looking for Where's three three sprigs each uh, and a good mix. Maui. One for all and all for one. I've just had one. I've just had one. Yeah, I've just had some. Oh. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Cheers. 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 Right. So this is history. Okay. Huh? What waterway did Britain buy a share of in 1875? Buzz, Suez Canal. Yeah. I put some up my fucking nose. <laughs> Why? I didn't mean to. It's like drugs. Right, what did Winston Churchill <coughs> describe as a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma? Buzz is the enigma code. No. Well, that's a bit easy. Civil rights. It's a country. Oh. Buzz, Israel? No. Buzz, Germany? No. That's a really good one. Buzz, France? <laughs> Buzz, Buzz Russia. Correct. Oh, yes. Right. Oh. Question number three. So Valentine, what Catholic bishop was killed in Rome on February 14th, AD 270? Was it Hope. A. Oh, okay. Saint Chris. B. Saint Valentine. Well, B. Saint, Saint Valentine. Valentine. <laughs> you B. said Saint Valentine. But Saint Valentine is the smart question. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. <laughs> you said some Valentine. <laughs> what fucking bishop or whatever? Who was the last British monarch to strike someone with a sword? A. Queen Elizabeth I. B. Queen Elizabeth II. C. Queen James. <laughs> the B. Queen Elizabeth II. Correct. Whoa. Really? She hit someone with a sword. Mm. Not me. Who was the first Prime Minister of India? Bush Gandhi. Nope. He didn't take any roles, I forgot about that. <laughs> and he was shot just before they got their independence. That was a shit guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to give you options because I, I can't make up Indian names. <laughs> Jawaharlal Nehru. <laughs> that one! Oh, that one! That one! That one! That one. That one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, end of the round. How do you think it went? A bit shit. Bad. Next round, it's going to be music. Ooh, to start got... off music round, we're going to have... Ah! Uh, Black garlic. One sprig. Where's it from? Two two sprigs. Uh, Come on, two, two sprigs. No. Audi. Vegan. This will have more in. Okay. Make it come. Cheers. What did you do Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. That's fine. That's fine. Question number one. Which uh, four words of a 1972 UK top single subsequently became four different UK hit song titles in 19... 85, 1983, 1977, and 1975, respectively. I don't know. What's a four? Barbara O'Reilly. Solid. Gold. Easy action. <laughs> the, the song Solid by Ashford and Simpson. Gold. Can you just give me the answer, or is it. Yeah. Alright, name the two classic American actors Nick Kershaw has written songs about. Uh, Nicholas Cage. It's not classic. A. James Stewart. B. Humphrey Bogart. But James Dean. Wasn't, wasn't her. <laughs> <laughs> also incorrect. So. <laughs> A. James Stewart. B. James Cagney. C. James <laughs> Dean. <laughs> but James Dean. <laughs> no. But James Stewart. But James Cagney. <laughs> Three more Jameses. That's one. <laughs> uh, Hilbury Milton. Clyde, Clyde Merrick. Or, um, C. Bert C. Humphrey Bogart! Harry's correct. I was as well. Okay. Uh, Alex, you have to. Who recorded the original version of the song Substitute in 1978? The Who. Hit number two for Cloud. <laughs> I don't, that doesn't make sense. Well, they got a number it, one um, here, the second one was just for clout. <laughs> but that's, that's Righteous Brothers. Oh wow, that was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> number two, number three. Men, the two UK hit singles in the 1970s that only mentioned the song's title at the very end of the song. Okay, here's the first one. <laughs> that's not the name of them. What are you no, the name? That's number one. Number two. <laughs> but 
the song from Countdown. That's I can't think of any other Virginia part. Plane and Up the Junction. What? This music though, this shit is ridiculous. <laughs> I think it's from being no, about one. 60. Alright, I'll, I'll make one up. Okay. From which 1990s hip hop outfit does Andre 2000 Wu-Tang Clan NWA? Here's, 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 a, uh, here's a hint. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Oh fuck, um, um, that, that, that one, that, um... Burt Outcast. Hey! <laughs> See, like, I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> Final round. This round is about 2022. If something big happens in the next week, you're gonna be fucked. Like, if, if a plane, I don't know, flies into the Empire Single State. Tower. Next yeah, week. what if COVID-2 happens next <laughs> week? <laughs> And like that <laughs> COVID <two. laughs> everything else that happened this year is now irrelevant. Do oh maybe I should I should fit a sixth question in here about like uh, the apocalypse. About like how did the world end in twenty twenty two? In the last week. <laughs> Harry Sharp so COVID loud two. everything broke. We now have some more spice. When I say more spice, I mean a, a lot more spice. I also yeah. mean a lot more beer. As a, oh, oh, oh. Fucking hell. Fuck me. Oh my god. Jesus. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> you're not no, that's not fair. You're not being very fair. Don't eat that bit. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Cheers. Question number one. Uh, what was the name of King Charles III's youngest son? Uh, Harry. Oh, it's Harry. Oh, Harry. Okay. Polo de Ajo is a Spanish dish consisting of meat cooked with a generous amount of garlic and white wine. Yeah, and <laughs> Buzz was the name of his second youngest son. It's not a question. Lasagna, I don't know. It's not a question. It's just a recipe that was an ad in the middle of Spain. The answer is a fucking question as well. The exact same Why didn't you show me before you printed them out? Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Eat some more, it'll make it better. <laughs> no, I told you it was bad. It's, oh. co it's cooked with a generous amount of garlic, white wine, and something else. Vinegar, <coughs> rice. Oh, fuck. Olives, tomato, <coughs> bird's milk, mushrooms, oh. and bird's, no, no. bird's tomatoes, no, and bird's, no, no. bird's meat of some description. Yes. Bird's cheese, and bird's ham. No, no. And bird's bacon. Bird's beef. No. Bird's chicken. Yes. Oh. Oh. Which French architect, born in 1888 in Switzerland, is now regarded as one of the pioneers of modern architecture? A. Gerard Graffin. C. Le Malagre. Well, what would B? Or C. Le Corbusier. C. Buzz C. C. Gordon Sierra. I said Buzz C. First. B. Well, you didn't actually say the name. Oh, well, fuck off. Say it. Buzz Gordon Sierra. Buzz Gordon Sierra. I wasn't listening. Uh. C. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it the name? I said C. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> Which French architect? We had that one. <laughs> Who replaced Rowan Williams as Archbishop of Canterbury in 2013? Um, David, someone? <laughs> David. Buzz David. Buzz Dave. Buzz David. David Thornton. Buzz David Thornton. Come on, Alex. Buzz David Bowie. I... You're a Christian. You know, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a Dave. A what? Dave? Dave. Dave Thornton, isn't it? It's definitely not Dave Thornton. Dave Who's Dave, Dave Judy Dent? No, no, is it Who was A? It? Is it A, okay. Clive Steele, B, Dave Irons, what was it? B, Justin Dave Irons, or C, Justin Welby? C, Justin Welby. Gendra. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sure it was a Dave. <laughs> this one's going to be out speed, not skill, okay? The drug. And now, as it turned, as <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
which 1979 science fiction horror film? <laughs> I so got that first, come on! Let's watch Give me a chance, I'm sure I'm going to have a chance! I, I think Gabe. No, come on, no, no. I this is I'm gonna go back and 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 watch this. Your force feed you chili and, so. and count okay. and count because I think I got more right. Silvio, Tony. What's the other one? Stigmatism. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Nappy. It's a nappy. It's the loser boys. Really? It's a nappy. The floor call. No, no, no. <laughs> Lift up the Lift stupid up the nappy, loser. Man. I don't know my head. <laughs> Okay, so, I appreciate you all. Alex, I've already had half a beer. I, mean, no. <laughs> I appreciate you all for coming here today. But unfortunately, there can only be one winner. It was me. And because of that, I have got a special mystery gift for Gabriel. He does not know what he is getting. So close your eyes, Gabriel. And you've got a that you've got a present on the way. Hey, Tony, that's a that's a pretty swell gift. Put, oh, put no your way. put your hands out the oh. way. Oh. Tons. Hey. One, three, two, one. Hey. Harry took it home last uh, last year. You've taken home this year. I think 2023 will be my year. This is going to improve my knowledge, and I'll be able to uh, know more things next year.